What up, though? So, you know that Cobweb, Dad, Father, my amigo. What's up, Ashley? How you doing? How you doing, AMG? How's it been going? I'm, I got, I had butterflies in my stomach before we started. I mentioned that. Yeah, you, you said that from time to time. You're just excited just to be here. No. Just looking at my baby Yoda. Bobble that head sometimes for the girls' table. Yeah. Like, good luck. <laughs> I get you on that. I get you on that. I yeah. get you on that. You know, I was super mad on Friday. You know, Friday was a day of, of, I don't know what to say. I don't know. The things that, you know, when it rains, it pours. When it pours, it snows. <laughs> yeah, I was just angry. You know why I was so angry, Dad? Um... Go right ahead. Let them know. Because the heater went out. Yes. 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 And I know you guys are sitting up there thinking like, okay, what's the big deal if the heater goes out? But that's our HVAC system uh, went out in our house. So it's like, you know, the, air, the central air doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So it was now, like hot. Now I think, now I don't mind if the place is freezing cold. Okay, I don't mind that because that's happened already. But when it's hot, I can't deal with it. Uh, it Coldness, was, I can deal with. I just gotta bundle up. It was a, it was a ninety degree day that day and humid. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was hot and humid that day around here. But we got through it. We're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I was I when I found out the basement was closed because I wish I had known before because I would have went in our basement and slept there. Yeah. Yeah, it's always cool down there, you know, so it's it's okay now. I mean, it's still a pleasant day out here in Chicago. Well, Crest Hill, where we're at, you know, <laughs> but hey, you know, we're going to make it through. You know, we got some we plans survive. in the mind. We can survive. We got a couple GoFundMe set up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go check us out on GoFundMe. I'm playing. <laughs> Give me a couple minutes. I've seen some of these quotes. <laughs> man, man, oh man, oh man. Talk about dropping a hammer on you. Yeah, we should create a GoFundMe page because we're like poor college students when it comes to podcasting, Dad. Can't go over 30 minutes. Uh, that's just what we just at. You know, we, we just do the 30 minutes because it's that. Yeah. You know. So this week has been pretty cool besides that, you know. <laughs> yeah. I've been chilling in the basement, aka Griff Studios. Oh yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. You know, Dad, we should paint the walls. No way. I like it the way they are. I would love some color. Let me tell you something. You can love some color all you want, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, the basement's amazing. I love it. It's spacious. It's been a while since I've had a basement, okay? Yeah, yeah. Ever yeah. since, like, my first ever house. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also had a visitor come by. Anthony came in mm -hmm. from Florida. A good friend, cousin Anthony. Uh, he was here for on a somber moat. He had lost his dad, too. Big shout out to Andy. Andy Hurt. And, um, and he, he's moved over. He's sowing seeds, too. So, yeah. It happens. It's yeah. just happening. But we all got to keep moving forward, though, right? Yeah. You, As my great, great helpers have always said, great therapists and counsel guys I've met have always told me, you can never move backwards. You always got to move forward. That's what's up. That is what's up. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a good philosophy on life, all you guys out there. You know, I was something I was thinking about. You know, we have all these people at Griff's Table. Right, that's mm -hmm. tuning in every week, that's listening to us. What are we gonna call these people? True. And what? also, I think we also kind of let them down because I was thinking about it this week. I was like, what happened to the way of the DJ? You know, we, we never got the way of the DJ going. It's so many things going on all the time trying to keep up with these episodes and stuff yeah, like I'm, that. Yeah, I'm busy some days. We got to get the way to DJ back. That was a segment yeah, that we I, promised these people that we have not gotten a chance to do it yet. I feel so disappointed in myself, Dad. I understand. I feel like crying tears of sadness and guilt. <laughs> well, you're going to have to get over that. 
<laughs> you just gonna have to get over that. We're gonna have to figure something out. That's on the grill. Yo, we should remove those curtains over there, Dad. Look, just... <laughs> God. We gotta. They're Disney princess curtains. I guess from the people who were previously here. I know, but I don't have any curtains to replace it with. Mm, we're gonna have to look for some curtains. Maybe we can get custom made curtains. Maybe that says Griff's tape on it. <laughs> for Griff's studio. Also, new merch. Mm -hmm. I quit you on that. But what are we going back to what we were saying? What are we going to call these people? What are they? I mean, they're here at Griff's they're table. They're a fam, Dad. They're a family. I know they are a family, but what are we going to say? I say, look, family out there. No, they need like a name. You know what I'm saying? What are we going to call them? Team 316. I'm playing that's <laughs> It's already taken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't sue me, Merit. Don't give me a season of desist order. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta figure out something. Like what? What are we gonna call them, these people? You know, cause they pull up a seat to the chair, pull up a seat to the table, have a seat. You know, are they they are students, Father. No. They're they're it's like disciple and disciple wait, what I don't get confused what I'm even saying. I don't even know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> we gotta figure out what we're gonna call these people sooner or later, you know, because they're gonna be like, hey, you know, whatever. So you Let's know call them the Griffin doors, not joking. <laughs> yeah, the baby grips. Disinfected baby grips. The baby, hey, baby grips. The, the mini grips. The baby grips. Is that what you guys want to be called out there? Baby grips? I don't know. You Let's us do a, a poll. Yeah, do us a poll. We're going to make a post this week. And uh, we're going to ask what you guys want to be called that's out there listening to the uh, podcast. <laughs> I gotta get on the Instagram, the Griff's Table Instagram. Make sure y'all follow us out there. That's right. It's Griff's Table on Instagram. Uh, actually, uh, AMG will be running that. So you... Yeah, because it's difficult for father. <laughs> yeah, trying to run my own Instagram page, Kywell411, is uh, still just uh, it's difficult to, uh, <laughs> to run that. And yeah, then... check us out. You can see the lovely wedding pictures, probably honeymoon pictures, you know. Oh, From dad's old days. You can see how buff he was. How buff he was. Yeah. You can see our doom mask. Yeah, I gotta get buff again. That's for sure. Yeah, father. Now yeah. it's not even buff muscles. You guys see what happens? Dad's out there. I have, I have officially become have a dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> you have New York ass. <laughs> you gotta get them Hollywood abs. You know, Dad, I can show you how to get Hollywood abs. You know? Okay. If any of you have seen the video about Hollywood abs, you should definitely check it out if you haven't. It's pretty funny. Okay. okay. If anyone knows who Matthew Gray Gulliver is or has watched Criminal Minds, of course, you know, yeah. Probably. Yeah, I've been trying to sit back. I've been really thinking, trying to think about like new merch for the podcast. We have no merch at all. Yeah, we gotta do like t-shirts and tank tops, but it's becoming the fall season. So it's like soon that's coming up. So it's like, you can't even do that. You'd have to live in like near the equator to be getting that stuff. But you know, t-shirts would be good. Should we go for t-shirts or should we just go for a sweatshirt? Let, we'll do t-shirts well, and sweatshirts. Probably. Oh, gross table t-shirts and sweatshirts? Yeah, because one, it, you still can wear a t-shirt in like winter. It's just not common. Okay, yeah. And also in the fall. So, and sometimes you get cold. So it's like you need a sweatshirt, especially when your heat goes out and it's cold or whatever happens. That happened to me once. It was extremely cold once at my mom's house. Like, this was years ago, and I had to have a bunch of blankets on my bed, but it was rad. Okay, so we're going to have to do that. My so, I, so I, you know what? We're going to have to talk to Auntie Stacy. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. She's got that, um, um, I got to look up the name of that. We got to give a shout out to her when she makes this. And we got to hit up Todd from Bomb Shelter, too, and see if we can yeah. get those, uh, doc, those, those JPEGs with a logo. And then we can get that, uh, stuff together. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget the awesome Griff's Table t-shirts. Yeah. On www.griffstable.com. No, I'm playing. We don't have a website. We yeah. should create one. 
Or we're taking or orders. We'll, we'll be taking orders on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad. We have to find a website where we can po put our merch on. Like, hmm. Like real? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, we can find a place to put it on, or we can learn how to create our own website. Oh, man. See, that's not what happens when you blow it up, when people are like, yeah, I want a Griff's Table t-shirt. Yeah, we can have a merch section. We can have, like, a section where it's, like, for, like, what we're talking about, podcast section where you can find all our podcasts. So even if you don't, you know, have Spotify or anything, which you probably would, honestly. Well, we're, we're available on every podcast format and soon to be available on Amazon Music. Wait, seriously? Seriously. Daddy's been hard work filling out documents and trying to and negotiating with Amazon and uh, trying to get our yeah, podcast. Yeah, sure, Dad. I have. You have not been negotiating with Amazon. Yes, I have. I would have to go with you, well, number one, because I'm part of this podcast. So why wouldn't you take me with you? Because you're not old enough. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm serious though. I've been working with Amazon. I'm trying to get this podcast off the ground on available so that you guys has got Amazon Music. You can stream us straight to uh, your local uh, Alexa app, and it will be all good there too as well. Mm-hmm. You know what else, Dad? I got an easel. Yeah, you did. A lot of people don't know out there that you like to paint. Yeah, I paint. I'm a painter. I made Rihanna. Okay, not Rihanna, but. It definitely, it reminded me of Rihanna, okay? It didn't make Rihanna, though. Okay. Wish I did. Should've. And it's funny, because when I did it, I was supposed to make something else, but then it got messed up, and I got artist block, and then it was like... But then I was painting, and like, a hair sweep, like, hair sweeping upwards. And you got it. And I was like... Oh my gosh, Ashley, you're going to make a human being. And it turned out kind of bad at first, but then I did some editing on it. You know, like you edit our podcast. Preach into the choir over here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway. <laughs> well, that's yeah, what's up. I'm so happy. So the easel did help you paint more. They yeah. helped your painting. Yeah, because now I don't have to go and like put a bunch of stuff on the table and try not to get paint anywhere. Okay, yeah, I gave you a designated spot for you can paint now where you don't have to worry about it. You can set your stuff up over there, your paint and everything. Yeah, it's, it's like in that. Griff Studios, y'all, aka our basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we gotta do now? Um since we well, since we're on that that paint tip. Um you should paint you should push the uh, put that on the um, Instagram page. Yeah, I'll be taking pictures of my paintings, posting it on the Instagram page. Y'all yeah. might not think they're that great, but I think they're great. I try my hardest, and I'm not the greatest artist, but you know, I try my hardest to copy certain things. And I've actually made pretty good art. I've made trees, sunsets. I did Bob Ross once, but it didn't go well. <laughs> Let's just say that. It went horribly wrong. Well. Oh, that's all good though, babe. But what's um? So anyway, this week's episode. What is it we're supposed to be talking about this week anyway? The Umbrella Academy. Yes, this infamous. The, is we gonna call it infamous or it's what do we call it? The greatest show ever. Oh my gosh! If you guys don't know what the Umbrella Academy is, let me tell you. So it's about these. It's about this guy who's like, I'm gonna adopt. Six children who were born on the same day at the same time on October 1st, I think, 1989. I'm trying to remember. I think it was October 1st, 1989 on the 12th hour. Yeah, that's right. They all gave, these women all gave birth to these children at the exact same time. And the funny thing about it is they weren't even pregnant. No, they weren't. These women weren't pregnant. Imagine if my mom wasn't pregnant and she gave birth to me on October 1st.